Where does this story of Mayuhake begin? How did this stunt double from Flicka end up on Twitch? And does she really not know what Pepe Laugh means? In this video, I'll be going over the life of Maya Higa. Maya Higa was born on May 24th, 1998, in East LA. Maya's dad was the co-founder of Chuck E. Cheese. He turned his college dorm room dream into a multi-million dollar corporation. He achieved his dream by baiting trailer park kids with a big ass New York rat and underage gambling. Profits exceeded expectations. This led to Maya living in a protective bubble in her fancy suburban neighborhood. As time went by, Maya's parents started to notice her taking interest in animals. So on her fifth birthday, they bought her a leopard off of Amazon. This was only the beginning of Maya's crazy life as a zootard. Fast forward to Maya's teenage years. She wanted to follow in the footsteps of her family by playing sports in high school and on a collegiate level. Yet, she failed all her tryouts mainly because of her lack of height. Being 4 feet tall and 5 inches put her at a disadvantage. After being turned down for most sport organizations, Maya only had one more option, soccer. While she didn't make it on the varsity squad, she was fortunate enough to pay her way, I mean, earn her spot on the JV team. She earned a starting position in all three years she played, and won player of the game two years in a row, for writing thank you letters to each player on their team after every game. She earned the respect of her teammates by doing her homework and baking cookies for them. This resulted in her becoming team captain in her final year of soccer. In the blink of an eye, Maya was a clueless senior in high school. Not knowing what to do with her life, Maya asked her cousin Ryan Higa for advice on what to do. He told her to follow her passion for animals and become a zoologist. And so she did. Maya attended California Polytechnic State University. In her spare time, she took up a volunteer job at the local zoo and quickly became a conservation ambassador. During the day, she was a typical college student, but at night, she was a Pokemon ranger whose goal was to save animals and help them recuperate. As time flew by, Maya got a text message from one of her friends ranting about a new website called Twitch.tv. She didn't pay much attention to it, but being a good friend she is, she made an account to support and watch them. Eventually, her friends pressured her into streaming on Twitch for easy money from thirsty guys. This is when Maya's life would take a turn for the worse. It was on April 15th, 2019 at 5.24 p.m. when she brought Falco's cousin Bean on stream. Bird is coming. Mm. This is Bean. His name is Bean. I didn't name him. Um, he is a juvenile red-tailed hawk. Um, he's like... He's probably six months. Um, he was hit by a car. Within seconds, an LSF clip champ had a clip of Maya on LSF, and overnight, Maya became the LSF girl of the month. Anything and everything Maya did was spammed all over LSF the next few weeks. Every big Twitch streamer had their opinion about her, with the majority of them wondering why this normie was on Twitch. Not even two minutes into her being on XC stream, Raj Patel and his gang of teenage boys started to spam Maya's DMs begging her to appear on the Raj Royale. She denied Raj's invitation to the show, considering she didn't want to talk about sex for 4 hours with the same boring cam girls he usually has on. Let me clarify something. The Raj show is doing exceptionally well. I enjoy watching it. It's really entertaining content. It's dope. All I'm saying is that I am like the way that I am and I don't think that me as a person would be a good fit for that show. In rage, Raj hopped into his alt reddit account, making posts saying Maya was too good for the show. This began to ignite a massive hate train on Maya. Yet there was one person who would travel the world and the seven seas for the slim chance of getting her to sign a steam profile. This simp was no other than Miskiff. Look, as much as I love shitting on everyone on this platform, okay, as much as I'm all for it, I feel like this girl does not deserve to get shit on whatsoever, okay? Like. <laughs> There's everyone else under the sea. I'm totally down the shit on them. They deserve it. She does not deserve to be shit on, okay? She is the one flower in the weed field that is Twitch, okay? She's the one thing that is nice and pure on this platform. And she will become corrupt. So let's just enjoy her beautiful flower as it is right now, okay? Miskiff instantly fell for Maya's innocent face. Maya first appeared on Miskiff's stream when she was trying to get help for building her PC. Miskiff didn't do jack fucking shit and just call people on Discord to be of no help. While Miskiff trolled her epic Gundam style, it was the worst mistake of his life. 
because after the stream, Maya went to Best Buy. This is where she met Mark from Best Buy who would help her finish building the PC. Now with a $9,000 Reddit and YouTube machine, Maya was ready to conquer the Just Chatting section. It would be a fairly easy journey because at this point, Miskiff and Maya became Twitch's new power couple, Birdkiff, dethroning Jost. These next two months, a new breed species would come to existence. Something even worse than K-pop stands. Maya frogs. These dweebs would clip and ship anything over to Miskiff and Maya to try to get them to talk to each other so they can live vicariously through them. They would appear on each other's stream more and more, to the point it was borderline e-dating. From the moment Maya went to Miskiff's house, you could clearly tell there was something more than a mere friendship. You could see Miskiff and Maya genuinely happy with each other. From the cooking streams to the IRL streams, you could tell Miska was actually having fun with the constant boners he would have on stream when near Maya. Miskiff was the embodiment of a Maya frog, and without realizing, they would begin to eat day and sleep in Discord calls. Things were going well for Maya, with her raising over $32,000 for charity to becoming one of CSGO's top players. Yet, this might have all never happened. When Maya blew up on LSF, she didn't like all the attention she gained. While she got a lot of support, it also came with unwarranted hate. Maya didn't like the hateful comments and high expectations about her and thought about giving up. But Miskiff would get on his knees and beg for Maya to keep on streaming because he needed content desperately. And she did. Maya cared for Miskiff and so did Miskiff for Maya. So they finally announced their relationship status on stream after Maya went to New Jersey to accompany Matthew's yearly psychiatric hospital checkup. Which brings us to the present day. Maya recently got partnered after being denied several times for being a React Dandy. She provides a nice cozy stream where everybody's welcome to join. But if you ask me, I think Maya is one of the few honest and genuine people on Twitch with an actual dream of wanting to make the world a better place. And I wish her the best of luck. Ain't no surviving. I don't really wanna see what's in store for me. 